Hi guys, it's Shami from Crafts Names and Things. So today I'm going to show you how to make um, little paper um, little bags. Um, I'm going to use these for a swap that we're doing at International Crafters. Um, we have a swap there and you just make a little grab bag and you fill it with kind of flat paper things um, and you send it to your swap partner. So um, I did receive one from Eileen which is beautiful. So isn't that gorgeous? So um, this is kind of the inspiration um, of what I'm going to do. So um, show, first I'll show you how to make the ones from the brown bag. It's really easy. You really don't have to measure, um, which is great. So this is just, um, just craft paper that I got from the dollar store. Okay. And what you're going to do is, sorry, I'm moving the camera around a little bit, is you'll just unroll it out, okay, just like that. And then you're going to kind of measure, like to see how big you want your base to be. I want mine about this size, so I'm just going to take this one that I have. Um, it's six inches by, I measure it to? by like 11 and a half. So um, that's kind of my guide, but you can make them as big as you want. So don't get boggled down with, you know, it has to be a certain size or anything like that. Just for this swap, I want it to be kind of the size of just a standard greeting card envelope, just so the postage will be cheap, cheap. You can make them as big as you want. Okay, so you're just going to take it and put it in view here. And I can kind of see where the base is, okay? And I'm going to go over just a little bit more than that, okay? So you can see that it's kind of lined up because I'm going to have flop. So I want to give myself about a fourth of an inch over, okay? Hopefully you can see this, okay? But you'll see kind of what I'm talking about in a second, okay? And then I'm just going to go up about 10 inches. That's it. So just keep folding out until you get the size that you want, about 11 and a half, I mean, about 11 inches wide. Okay, but this is so really, really easy technique for making these little bags. And you can make these for parties too. I thought, what a great thing. We spend all that money on paper bags and you don't even need to. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to, so this is my sheet of paper. Can you see that? Okay. And we're going to take it and the bottom half, it, we want sealed. Okay. So we're just going to take it, but we're going to leave maybe about a uh, half of an inch block. So that way I can hold it down. Okay. Actually, I think I'm going to go a little bit lower because I want a big enough block so it'll be secure. Just like that. Okay. Alrighty. And I will link her video below. She does a much better job. She gives you measurements and everything and all that stuff. You guys just know that I'm not a measurer, that I'm kind of a go with the flow kind of girl. I just don't like to measure. I just always get it wrong and then I get annoyed. And Yeah, so. <laughs> okay, so we have our little flop up here. And then we have um, this part and this part. Let me bring it in a little bit too so you can see what I'm doing. I know some people are like, Shambi, come in more. We can't see what you're doing. So the bag is actually going to be facing this way, but I'm going to turn it this way just to make it easier. So I'm just going to fold this in about a fourth of an inch. Okay? So not very much. Okay, I'm going to fold it down and make kind of a nice crease. Okay? Just like that. And I'm going to do that right on the other side also. Just like that. Okay. All righty. Okay. And then, and I also kind of make my homemade envelopes like this too. So I kind of know kind of the procedure. So on this bottom part or this part, whichever one you prefer, I'm going to do the bottom just because it's less, a little bit less cutting. You're just going to take it and you can see that I have some guidelines here. So I'm just going to go right here, just cut to that line, that first line. Okay. Just like that. I'm going to do that on both sides. Okay. And then I'm just going to trim it off, okay? Just cut down that fold that I made, just because I don't want it to be bulky, okay? Just like that. Oh, darn. Oops, I cut a little too much, so don't do that. <laughs> but it's okay, we can fix it. All right, just like that, okay? Perfect. 
Okay. So then I need to deal with this part up here. So I'm going to fold down my flap again, just like that. And if you wanted to, you could just glue it down like that, but I want it to be a little bit neater. So I'm just going to take it and there's a fold there on that edge. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to take that and I'm going to cut out this little rectangle. It would be a square if you cut and measured. Okay, just going to take it and do the same thing. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then I can just take my glue stick and I can form it. Okay, so this is just an Elmer's washable glue stick. And what I like to do is just open the flaps, just like that. Okay. okay. Just like that. Okay. And just put, you know, some a gracious amount of glue on there. You don't want it to come apart when you're milling it. Now you're just going to take it and we'll fold those sticky flaps over, kind of push them down a little bit. Push them down a little bit. And I like to apply just a little bit more glue, okay? Oops, but not to the part where it's gonna stick down. So you can just rub it off and it's fine. Okay, so you're gonna take one end, and again, I am not, you know, perfect with this. I just kind of go with the flow. Okay, we're just gonna take it and stick it down on one end, and then we'll come over here and we'll do the next end. And maybe it needs to come over more because I didn't measure, and that's okay. I am just a non-fussy crafter, so if you want perfection, then you can totally take your time and do a much neater job than me, okay? So you have this little cute bag that you can mail and put um, little things in. Now, let's say you didn't have the paper, that kind of brown paper. You could also do it with book pages too. Okay, so this is just a standard size book. Um, it's called Dragons of the Falling Sun and I have it has like over 500 pages so I'm on like 300. <laughs> so I'm just going to take it and if you want you can cut off the edge. I'm not worried about that. We're just going to do the exact same thing. So you can just take any piece of paper that you have really and I'm going to fold it this way and you're just going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to go a little quicker on this one since you know the process. I'm just leaving a little bit of a lip here. Take it, fold it over, but you can do this with anything. I just want to show you that. So if you want it to be different and kind of not do the brown bag or you could do wrapping paper, there's just so much that you can do. Okay, and this is definitely Irene's idea, so make sure you go check her out. But I just thought that I would share it with my subscribers because I thought it was such a great idea. Just like that. And I am obsessed with books. I love using book pages. So that's why I'm doing it this way. I just take it and I can kind of bring this up, see where my flaps are going to be. Pull down like that. And these are great. You can just throw them in the mailbox and you're all ready to go. And we are going to decorate them. I'm just going to use um, some homemade stamps that I made. I do have, you know, some stamps that I, because I get my stamps at the thrift store, because lots of people are getting rid of their rubber stamps. They like clear ones. So that's mostly where I get mine from. But I thought, well, some, maybe some people don't have, you know, money to get rubber stamps. So um, I'm going to show you just with homemade stamps what kind of cool markings you can make. So we're just going to take this and just go up. Okay, same thing. Now, if you wanted to, you could wait to decorate it. Um, you decorate it first and then put it together, but it's up to you, whichever you like. So I'm just gonna take some things out here, and I just have some stamp pads um, that I tend to use. And let me grab my black one. It's right over here. Did I bring it over? No, I did not. That's just my standard black basic, and I got this at the store too by stamping up. So you'll just kind of take whatever um, stamp you want. I am going to use um, some of my homemade ones, and um, first I'll do it with the regular stamps. 
Um, let's do a rose. I love roses. And we're going to do it on this book page paper. Okay. So you'll just take your ink pad, just ink it up, just like that. And I have to make two of these, which is a great number, I think, for a swap. So that's pretty cool. And I can just kind of put my image wherever I want. And on book pages, I don't want a complete image. And I like I love this stamp because it's kind of a partial image, which I think is really beautiful. Okay. And then I can just ink it up a little bit. And I'm going to get in those corners. Okay, and we can like call that totally done. And this is just a flower stamp. And I got this at Michael's. It was $2. And see, very easy. If you wanted to, you could color it in, make a really, really good, you know, image. Um, but I really like this one because it's not full image. Look at how pretty that is. Gorgeous. Okay, so we can call that done. Um, so that's just would be how you would just stamp, okay, with, with that. Now for these other ones, I'm just going to take this and I don't like wasting ink. So I'm just going to kind of stick, stick it on here just to get rid of that ink, okay? Because I can use that for something else. Now for my homemade stamps, I just have some here that I thought might be kind of cool. And I am going to actually use some paint. So let's see what color we have here. I'm going to use some purple because that's my favorite. Okay. And that's what I have quick access to. And I just take it. And these are my homemade stamps. There's a video on this if you are interested in seeing that. And I just take my paintbrush and I apply some paint. And if you like wanted to, you could decorate these however you like. But if you don't have stamps, as I said, I love, I mostly use my stamps just for my card making. Um, but yeah, I don't really use them for art journaling. I really like using homemade stamps um, just because I really like unique markings. So. That's just my preference. If you want to use stamps, go for it. And if you have a great supply, but for those of us that don't, um, you can just use your homemade stamps. And it looks just as beautiful. Actually, I really love that. And I'm going to get another color. I'll get a yellow. And I use craft paints for everything. So that's what I'm using. Just cheap old craft paints that you can get at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. And I get a lot of mine at Walmart because they're only 50 cents, so, which is awesome. And acrylic paint, you know, it's not going to, it's it travels very well, so, um, which is great. Okay, and then we can do one right down here. And you can just kind of build it up as you like, right? So. And then I can switch over on the back and just repeat the exact same design. Let's maybe use another stamp. Maybe we'll use this one, which is odd, but I made it. <laughs> I said, I think that I want kind of a strange looking stamp. So one can kind of, but I love using these foam stamps and they're so easy. And you can even use ink um, with these two, but I'm lazy, so I usually just use the paint. And I don't want to mess up my ink pad either. So I don't know. I just kind of see ink and stamps as something, you know, that's a little bit more expensive. So um, I try to preserve and save them as much as I can. Um, just because I don't know when I'll be able to buy any more. So just kind of a frugal thing that I do. And I do. I clean my stamps off and I really try to take care of them. So. Okay, so I'll just kind of take that. So I really don't use paint with them. Um, let's do 
some more actually and we know what we're going to do. We're going to do the Kelly Bonifin Jerk which is there's paint in here and you can just take it and, and I just use a light hand and I brush the paint right on my homemade stamps just with the paintbrush. I think it gives a really pretty image. Very pretty. Okay. Here we go. And I love that it's kind of disjointed and you can't fully see it. How pretty is that? But I love it. I think it's really pretty. And then if you wanted to, you could ink around the edges. Um, so if we wanted to, we could just take a little bit of our paint and Oops. We can just hold the brush a little bit perpendicular and just go around the edges just to add a little something. And you can doodle on this. I probably wouldn't collage just because I want to keep the cost down, but you could absolutely, if you weren't worried about the cost of shipping, you could absolutely do that too. And it just adds a little something on the edge. But isn't that cool? And actually, I think before we go, we'll do that with this one. So I'll just take this. And I love these um, ink pads. And I see that you can get them in tons of colors. And they're just the stamping up ones. But this is the one that I got. Um, and I only got it because, as I said, it was in the thrift store. And sometimes it's hit and miss with thrift store. Like sometimes, um, you know, the ink pads just are completely out of ink. You have to kind of like re-ink them, but sometimes you get a good one like I did that was hardly used. But I just wanted to show you just how you could make a quick grab bag and then you can fill it up with kind of things that you like. Sorry, this video is a little bit longer, but I do want to show you how I'm going to do this. So I have two swap partners. So... What I'm going to do is fill mine up with just little scraps of paper. So these are jelly printed um, oh, phone book and then um, jelly printed index cards. So I'm going to include a couple of those in there. And then I have some tickets. And this is kind of a bin where I put all the stuff that I think that I'm going to give away for Happy Mail in. Um, just to make my life a little bit easier. And then I have these black and white images. So all I do, or all I'm going to do, is just take a, couple, a few things. You know, I'll probably put 10 or so. And I just want it to be paper because I want it to be flat. So um, it'll be easy to ship. And hopefully my index cards will fit in there. And then I can put in some tissue paper. I love this tissue paper. <laughs> I got it from the dollar store. Isn't that cute? It's adorable. It's little cupcakes. Very cute. And then I have these little images that I cut out. Black and white ones from just a recycled book that I had. Okay. And then I'm going to include... Um, some of these fluorescent pages that I have here. And then I have some of these cute little labels that I got at the dollar store. So I'll include some of those. And I just have to tell myself not to go crazy because I go a little bit crazy when it comes to Happy Mail. Like I always get to the post office and a little bit of money so but you just get so happy you have your stash and you buy stuff to share so that's understandable I think that I'm kind of doing this a little bit quickly but I love these neon papers I think those are so cool so I had to buy some of those just take that and put it in there and again I'm trying to keep everything as flat as I can and I'll just maybe put some painted papers in there. And I do like to include um, some stamped images of um, just some stamps that I have. So this is like a purse and all sorts of stuff. And then um, this is just a napkin. So I can cut that up, up a little bit. 
has cappuccino on it, so I think that would be fun to go in too. Again, I want it to be pretty flat, so that should be able to get in there. But just kind of little bits of things, and then I'm going to include my circles too that I have. So I'll put that in there. So fun. So that's just an easy grab bag, and then I'll just Put the address on there and it'll be all ready to go so thank you so much for watching i will link um eileen's video at the bottom go check out her channel she has lots of great things on there and um, if you guys have any questions let me know but i will see you next time bye bye